Hey guys, welcome back to Khan again. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to receive notifications every time we upload a new video. Today, we're going to be talking about Project Superpowers, created by Jim Kruger and Alex Ross, with interior art by Doug Klaba and Steve Sadowski for issue number zero, and Carlos Paul for the rest of the series. The series revolves around the return of the lost heroes of the Golden Age, the Fighting Yank, a World War II era hero has grown old, living under his given name of Bruce Carter III in quiet solitude, save for the constant haunting by the spirit of his several times great-grandfather. Carter, in his final days, became haunted by a second spirit, the American spirit, an American flag possessed by the souls of deceased patriots. The American spirit accuses Carter of betrayal and warns him of his impending death. Through flashbacks, we learn that Hitler came upon Pandora's box, and in order to rid the world of evil, the fighting Yank was to return hope to the urn of Pandora, in order to also return evil to it as well. The heroes of the Golden Age that he fought alongside refused to believe such nonsense, which forced the fighting Yank to betray his friends and forced them into the urn as they represented all hope in the world. During the present day, the Fighting Yank and Green Llama locate the urn of Pandora inside the offices of Dynamic Forces, ran by their one-time friend Dynamic Man and his Dynamic family. It's here that it's revealed that Dynamic Man has become a villain. The urn is eventually shattered in an attempt to release the heroes trapped inside. But due to Dynamic Man's villainous change and scientific experiments on the urn, the heroes are scattered across the world. At first, it didn't seem like it worked. The first to return several pages later was the Black Terror, who had a bloodlust for vengeance against the Fighting Yank for betraying them and causing Terror to lose his ward, Kid Terror, not knowing if he's alive or dead. Upon his return, there is so much confusion with Dynamic Man's dynamic forces attacking Fighting Yank and Green Llama that Terror decides to take his anger out on the dynamic forces first because no one but nobody kills the fighting yank but the black terror the series contains large amounts of chaos confusion and intensity though each issue focuses on different heroes the stars of this series by far are the fighting yank green llama black terror the death defying daredevil scarab and samson Throughout the chaos, the superpowers become divided as hero faces hero, heroes become villains, villains become heroes, and mentors battle sidekicks. And among all this chaos, the superpowers have to battle the terrorist organization of the Claw, the President of the United States himself, who is a superpower being from the future, and a villainous organization who lurks in the shadows, controlling the world known only as the supremacy, and of course, one of their own. A hero who returned from the urn of Pandora drastically changed. Captain Future, who has become their greatest enemy. Other stories in this series include other members of the superpowers who returned from the urn being altered to become more godlike. So, who are the cast of characters who make up this chaotic and amazing comic book series? <laughs> well, there is no shortage of characters, that is for sure. We have the American Spirit, the Arrow, the Black Terror, and Tim, the Claw. The Crusaders, who are soldiers with the same powers as the Golden Age hero, the American Crusader. The Death-Defying Daredevil, the Dynamic Family, Fighting Yank, the Flame. Living Dead soldiers based on Frankenstein's monster, known as the F-Troops. Green Llama, Hydro, Masquerade. Mr. Face, the Owl, Pyro Man, from the Christian and Jewish Bibles, Samson, the Scarab, the Supremacy, the Target, V-Man, Silver Streak, Captain Future, Catman and Kitten, Strong Man, Major Victory, the Green Mask and Domino, U.S. Jones, Blue Bolt, Sub-Zero Man, Captain Battle and Captain Battle Jr., Amazing Man, Vulcan, Liberator, Lash Lightning, and Lightning Girl, The Raven, The Unknown Soldier, The Sword, 
The Flag, The American Eagle, Skyman, Marvello, Captain Courageous, Super American, Flame Girl, Big Blue and Sparky, David, also from the Christian and Jewish Bibles, Cyclone, The Grim Reaper, Jack, Black Phoenix, The Hood, Rocket Man and Rocket Girl, The Green Giant, Phantasmo, The Boy King and His Giant, Mano Metal, Golden Lad, Rainbow Boy, Airman, Rayar, Man of War, The Black Owl, Yank and Doodle, Sparkman, Doc, Dart and Ace, among many others, as well as Truth and Dare. If you enjoy DC Comics Crisis Stories and Marvel's Wars Stories, then you will enjoy Project Superpowers. The twists and turns and reveals and character growth are examples of great storytelling at its best. I highly recommend this series. You can head out to your local comic book shop. Most, uh, most comic book shops do have multiple copies of each issue. So go out, give it a try. I promise you won't be disappointed. It's a great series. Once again, fantastic creation by Dynamite Comics. I hope you enjoy, guys, and take care. Hey guys, Shannon here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share these videos with your family and friends. Because every time you do, you protect the memory of lesser known heroes from the golden age and beyond.